So I was planning to cover some more Bruce Springsteen in the near future, however it's been fast tracked thanks to Fast Eddie and his super thanks donation. So thank you very much for the donation Eddie. He has asked me to cover two different Bruce Springsteen songs. Um, it's not the only way to get me to cover a song, I do still keep an eye out in the comments for people's suggestions. However, if someone were to give a super thanks donation, I would always try my best to make sure I cover the songs that they are asking for. It also does help the channel keep on running. Um, it is notoriously difficult to keep a reaction channel like myself up and running. So big thanks, uh, big thanks to Eddie and his donation. Um, in terms of the different songs, one is coming from an earlier version of Bruce Springsteen from 1973 and his album Greetings from Ashbury Park. And then the second one comes from 82 and Nebraska, the album Nebraska. And I'm guessing a lot more of an evolved and um, successful version of Bruce Springsteen. So let's get into both of these songs. Here we go. This is Atlantic City by Bruce Springsteen. Well, they blew up a chicken man in Philly last night. Now they blew up his house too. Down on the boardwalk, they're getting ready for a fight. Gonna see what them racket boys can do. Now okay. there's trouble busting in from out of state, and the DA can't get no relief. Gonna be a rumble out on the promenade, and the gambling commission's hanging on by the skin of its teeth. Well, now everything dies, baby, that's a fact but Maybe everything that dies someday comes back Put your makeup on, fix your hair pretty I like how he's doubled his voice there Oh, very Dylan-esque Well, I got a job and tried to put my money but I got debts that no honest man can pay So I drew what I had from the Central Trust And I bought us two tickets on that close city bus everything dies, baby, that's a Okay, I'll have to say that this has a very Bob Dylan-esque vibe to it, um, especially the way the guitars and the harmonica came in. Um, this track, this album is called Nebraska 2. Maybe this was a homage or at least part inspired by what Dylan was doing. Um, especially his voice too. I mean, he doesn't sound exactly like Bob, Lin Bob Dylan does, but he's got a raspy style too. Really interesting. <laughs> Okay, if I'm kind of following along of what's going on through the story of the lyrics, um, it sounds like someone who was hard on their luck tried to move out to Atlantic City where there's more opportunities. I know it's in America, it's quite a bustling kind of place. Um, with a lot of jobs and whatnot, but it sounds like he's gone there and found out that there's like um, racketeering and stuff going on. It sounds like he's getting involved in like mob work, or at least he's like witnessing it and he doesn't like what he's seeing, uh, but he's having to put up with it just because of the fact that he's took this girl with him on this sort of dream of his to move out. Um, pretty cool story so far. It's hard to find down here. It's just winners and losers, and don't get caught on the wrong side of that line. Well, I'm tired of coming out on this losing end. So, honey, last night I met this guy, and I'm gonna do a little favor for him. Well, I guess everything dies, baby, that's a bad. Maybe everything that dies someday comes back.
Interesting track. Um, definitely got some positives and negatives. Um, I will try and be honest on the channel. Um, what did I like about it? I really liked when he doubled up his voice because he's got a very, very passionate voice, Bruce does. Uh, so I just think more of his voice... The, the it's like double the double the fun double the pleasure um i did like the rhythmic uh, aspect of his guitar playing as well that was pretty cool uh but the the cons of it would be i think he's trying to do a sort of stripped back version of himself i heard him on one of his other tracks i can't remember the name now it's probably his like most famous song it's like something about being on the run seems like he uses that theme quite a lot about wanting to get away from something with a girl and take her to another life. Uh, that's what the other track was about. So he's kind of redoing themes. And it sounded like to me, he was also kind of doing a version of Bob Dylan. I don't know, maybe other people won't hear this. But that's what I heard, at least um, like a modern like take on what Dylan would do if he covered like Atlantic City or something like that. But all in all, it's a, it a cool song. I liked it. It was interesting. Uh, we'll move straight on to the next one. This is, um, it's hard to be a saint in the city. Here we go. Blues pianos, I think, or jazz pianos. The vibe on this is very, very different. I had skin like leather and my diamond hard look of a cobra. I was born blue and weather, but I burst just like a supernova. I could walk like Brando <laughs> right into the sun, dance just like a cast on Nova. With my black jack and jacket and hair slick sweet. Silver star studs on my dust like a Harley in heat When I strut down the street, I could feel its hot beat Sisters fell back, said, don't that man look pretty The cripple on the corner cried out, nickels for your pity Them gasoline boys downtown sure talk gritty It's so hard to be a saint in the city I was a king of the could talk some trash. I was a prince of the paupers, crowned downtown at the beggar's bash. Okay, very, very different vibe. I, uh, the keys on this one are pretty damn cool. Um, is his writing style is very vivid i like that about him uh, he also seems to uh, be really really interested a lot of the time in where he is in terms of the environment the city the cities the towns that he's escaping he's he's generally speaking about the people the um the vibe there the things that he's running away from and it, and it's he's doing the same thing here he's really painting a vivid picture of who he is and where he's sort of in this place uh just like backstreet gambler with the luck to lose um pretty cool i think he's a he's a underrated writer i'd say it's not something i've heard much about bruce springsteen um again a little bit of a dylan um inspiration if you ask me I was the pimp's main prophet, I kept everything cool Just a backstreet gambler with the luck to lose And when the heat came down and it was left on the ground The devil appeared like Jesus through the steam in the street Show me a hand I knew even the cops couldn't beat I felt this hot breath on my neck as I dove into the heat It's so hard to be a saint when you're just a boy out on the street And the sages of the subway sit just like the living dead As the tracks clack out the rhythm, their eyes fixed straight ahead They ride the line of balance and hold on by just a thread But it's too hot in these tunnels, you can get hit up by the heat You get up to get out at your next Dude. stop And they push you back down in your seat Your heart starts beating faster as they struggle to your feet Dude. Cripple on the corner cries out nickels for your pity Them downtown boys, they sure talk gritty It's so hard to be a saint in the city
Interesting song. Again, I got some pros and cons. Um, both the tracks make his writing, his strength in his writing quite evident to me. Um, he's a good writer. Um, he has a way of painting pictures for sure. You really understand where he is, especially like, as I was saying, the environments he's at. Um, but then the cons, I don't know, this, 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 this song didn't really jam with me. I don't know, something about not having a great groove. Uh, always, I find difficult to connect with a song. Um, and then what else? I think, listen, even the way like Dylan delivers certain bits of his lyrics where it's really offbeat, but it's very unique to his cadence, to Dylan's cadence. But I heard it totally with, with, uh, with this track. Once again, especially certain bits where he went high pitch the same way Dylan does at certain points and he's completely off what I would like call the pocket of where the beat is. Uh, that's what we'd say in hip hop. But all in all, two interesting tracks. Um, I hope you enjoyed if Eddie watches this thing. Um, pretty, pretty cool. It's always cool to check out new music and kind of expand the palette. So um, I'll give I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up. It was, it was decent.